Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of our data grid series and I think this will be the final data grid tutorial but um, if needed and if you guys have any questions based on that I may do another one but uh, that will be totally up to you guys all right having said that I went ahead and did some housekeeping here so I created two regions here and placed the events in the events region and the methods inside the methods region just to keep the place tidy and uh, when needed extra space we can collapse these regions and get the display area I mean the work area clear of you know um, a lot of codes and the other thing I did was to restore the data let's run this so basically I restored all this data from the backup file that we created earlier so that's what you're going to see in this tutorial the restored data in there okay so um, again in this part we are going to uh, do a search of data using a text box um, and also we're going to cover how to create a data grid on the fly using C sharp code dynamically okay all right so let's get going I'm going to go back to our design surface and let's do a little housekeeping over here too I'm gonna collapse this resources tag and collapse the data grid tag so we know what we are doing okay so first thing i want to do i want to split this grid the main grid this guy here into two columns okay so grid that column definitions and let's add two column definitions okay um next i want to put this third the data grid inside the second column so we have two columns now actually let me zoom out a little bit or maybe a little more okay so we can see what's going on all right so first again i'm going to put the data grid inside the second column so i'm going to say grid that column one and then i'm going to expand that column uh, three times the first column so I'm going to set the width to three star which means three times the three times the size of the first column okay inside our first column um, let's collapse this again it keeps popping back up inside the first column I want to add a stack panel okay and inside the stack panel we want to add a text box that we are going to use to search all right let's set the font size to something like 18 maybe and close this out okay so we got a text box right here let's we can zoom in now right i think that's a good size Okay, then we want to use an event. The event we are looking for is text changed event. And let's double click to create the handler. Okay, let's go to code behind and our event handler is right here. So based on the text we type in um, in our text box, we want to filter the data. Okay, that's our idea. All right, so first, I'm going to say var tbx for text box equals um, sender as text box. So we're casting the sender as a text box. And then I'm going to say if 
tbx dot text is not equal to empty string in that case first I want to create a filtered list so var filtered list equals songs dot song list where x equals oops I think we got a problem here and let's check this out all right that's because we don't have the using statement system that link if you remember we cleared our using statements at the beginning which by default it's it's included in there but we cleared it at the beginning of this the data grid series so let's go ahead and add that in now we should have that using statement up here and there it is okay so where now we're gonna place our statement in here yeah. so x equals greater x dot title x represents represents the, te uh, the song object so we are saying song that song dot title contains so it's going to contain whatever inside text box okay so tbx dot text so if it contains that it's going to create a filtered list for us okay next we want to set the data grids item source to null to clear it and then we're going to set it back to filtered list okay and uh, else we're gonna say else if the condition is false we want the item source to be set to songs that song list okay let's run this and test it out so if i type in something in our text box let's try uh, all right so we got a little problem here so we got let's say I'm searching for sway and it's not coming up that's because we are filtering the filtering is case sensitive at the moment so uh, if I start with capital letter then it works that means we have to address that issue so basically what we want to do we want to say um, title dot lower so we're going to convert to lowercase first both the title and the text coming from the text box so this way we have a uniform search criteria okay that should solve that problem so it's going to first convert to lowercase both on both ends and then search based on that criteria okay now if i type in with lowercase s now we can see the search is displaying okay let's say uh, uh, let's say double l when i type in double l it's going to show every song that has two l's next to each other inside the title okay 
I say double T. Likewise, two. How many songs has the word two? Again, a bunch of them. Or don't. So it's working perfectly. Okay. So that's our search. All right. Now we are down to our last topic and that's going to be creating a data grid using C sharp code. All right. For this example, we are going to add a button to our right below the text box. So let's go ahead and add that. And uh, let's get a content. Let's say uh, show data grid. Okay, and let's create a click event. Double click to generate the handler and close this out. Let's double click our button to go to the event handler directly. All right, so here first we want to create an instance of a data grid. Let's call this DG equals new data grid. And then we are going to set the item source of this data grid to songs dot song list. Okay. And finally, did we name our stack panel? Let's check that out. I think we didn't. We are going to need to give a name to our stack panel. So let's do that. Let's call this SDK PNL for stack panel. And then we'll go back to our click event, event handler. And we're going to say stack panel dot children dot add, and we'll pass in the data grid. Okay. Let's build and run it. Right, our build succeeds. Let's run this. So at this point, if I click this button, it should create a data grid with the same content as this one. Let's go ahead and do that. Click. And there we have it. Okay. So I think we covered a lot of good information on data grid uh, once again if you guys have any questions suggestions uh, any thoughts to share please drop in comments until the next tutorial so long